Hey guys, what's up? It's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am doing my 2018 favorites video. I have been so excited to film this. I've just been thinking about my products. I really picked out the best of the best, my favorite stuff, the stuff I've used all year. If you guys are into products like I am and you guys have anything you want me to try out, please let me know. I am back obsessed with like trying out a bunch of products right now. So, like I said, leave them in the comments down below or tell me what your favorite product of 2018 was. Also, if you guys are interested in a kind of like 2018 reflection, like what I learned, I did an entire episode on that on my podcast, which if you guys didn't know, I have a podcast. It is the I Love You So Much podcast with Kenzie Elizabeth. It's my favorite thing in the world. I'll have it linked down below. It's my first solo episode, which is exciting, but yeah, I just talk a lot more about 2018 and all that stuff. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. Okay, let's get started. I have it all on my phone. So, for my clothes, this will come as no surprise but the IMG jackets. Guys, I have them in black, tan, and red. Actually, the red one is technically from Garage, but it's like the IMG pixie coat. I also bought five of them to give to people for Christmas. They are the best jackets ever. They're so cozy, they're cute, they're fun. I love them. Um, I'll have everything. Again, every single thing that I mentioned in this video, I will have linked down below. I know that Princess Polly was having like a crazy sale on the red one, it was like $40. I don't know if it's still there. I'll have it linked down below if it is, but they're the best jackets ever. It's worth it to spend the money on the IMG one. I think they're like 110 or something. I know there's a lot of knockoffs, but the IMG ones are the cutest, the most comfortable, the best quality. It's the best thing ever. These are the best jackets. The next thing is something that I just started wearing in the past month. I bought it probably in like July because I had credit on an app. And then I didn't really have anywhere to wear it to until probably like when I went to Texas, but it is this Revolve Bomber and you guys have been asking me so many questions about it. I can't find it online anywhere. They have a similar one from the same line or the same brand, but it's not like sparkly. They're just neutral. I'll have it linked down below. But this bomber is so freaking cute and it's just so fun. I'm really into like fun pieces this year. I say as I'm wearing all basics, but because I wear very like basic clothing, I really like fun things. I got super into fun bags. You guys will see that. This will come as no surprise. I probably had this in last year's video as well. My leopard coat. I got a new one. And this is also from Forever 21, guys. My last leopard coat, Forever 21. This one, Forever 21. It's so weird. I'm like, okay, I'll buy one from Revolve or somewhere nice because I wear it all the time. And then I just see it at Forever 21 and I like the one there better. It's so weird. I don't even shop there. But this is just so fun. Everything that I say, I'm like, it's just so fun. That's so annoying. But this jacket, guys, I swear it is the best thing ever. And it's also almost like a neutral. Like if you have, it's just the perfect thing to wear at all times. Like you could wear it anywhere. I would wear it to like Kroger at like 9 a.m., you know? I don't even think there are Krogers in LA, but you get what I'm saying. <sighs> Hoops, guys. As you guys can see, I'm wearing these. These are my favorite that I've bought all year. They're from H&M and they were like $6.00. But hoops came back in and I had to get my ears re-pierced for them, guys. And I love them. I'm like back on my earring grind, back on my accessory grind. Just made um, a few purchases from the M Jeweler, so that'll be coming in soon. I'll be like vlogging my unboxing and stuff. Very excited for that. But hoops are just the best thing ever. I literally have not left the house without hoops on in, I couldn't even tell you. Like I just don't do it. It just doesn't happen. Um, I'll link down below a few of my favorite. I also have like these really small gold ones from Urban that I broke, but I wore them a ton in Greece and they're amazing. With my hoops, I've been loving scrunchies because I pull my hair back. Like I've been doing a lot of like slick back looks because I wear hoops and then I'll like do minimal makeup and like big browns and like a lip product or something. But scrunchies have been amazing because when I pull my hair back, they look so cute or even like on top. I just got super into scrunchies this year. I love them. They have really good packs in them at Urban. I love the velvety ones. I pretty much Besides now, I took it off on purpose, but I always have a scrunchie like on my wrist at least too. Like they just, they're just the best. They're so fun. Okay, something that I have stopped wearing because I wore them so much, my Fila sneakers. Guys, these sneakers are $60. I bought two pairs of them in the past probably like six months. I started wearing them when I went to Greece because I needed like sneakers that would be comfortable but look cute with dresses. And then I wore them like pretty much every single day after. It's so ridiculous. Like I've never worn a pair of shoes more in my life than these Fila sneakers. But they're $60 and they're so comfortable and they're gonna try to say a different word besides fun. They're cool. 
Um, they're definitely like on the whole like chunky dad sneaker trend, which I love. Um, but yeah, I love those. I wear those way too much this year. Okay, on to my fun bag obsession. The bag that started it all. I used to always, for the most part, get pretty neutral bags. Like, I never really, like, stepped out and did something. Because I would, like, buy a nicer bag and then I would want it to be, like, neutral and whatever. So I would, like, it's, like, timeless. No, that is not the way to go. Get fun bags. It'll change your life. Now all I do is I buy fun bags. I just bought a new Rebecca Minkoff one that's so cute and I can't put it in my 2018 favorites because I just bought it. But it is my favorite bag I've owned in so long. Also, something I've noticed, like, even, like I like my Marc Jacobs and, like, the bags that are, like, $300 more than the bags that I have that are, like, thousands of dollars. Like, I just, I don't know what it is. I think it's because I buy, when they're, like, $300, I'll buy them as, like, a fun bag. But, wow, this bag has been so cute. I have three bags from this whole collection. Um, I have the bigger one as well, but I just wore the small one way more. The big one, I like. It's really fun, but it's kind of annoying when you carry it. I don't know. I like the smaller one better. And then I also got just a black Marc Jacobs backpack just for school. And that backpack I've used for so many things. It's perfect for traveling. It is the perfect size for a carry-on bag. And it's not like too big to where it becomes like a turtle backpack, but it carries a lot of stuff and it is just the best thing ever. So I've been loving those. I love Marc Jacobs. I've always loved Marc Jacobs like forever and ever. I've just been the biggest fan. I love them. Amazing. He's telling me we'll be with Skincare, my favorite topic. Okay, um, I don't know why I just said that, but you guys know if you guys watch my videos that I had a very big drunk elephant obsession this year. I think the drunk elephant is amazing. I honestly I just ran out of a lot of their products. I've repurchased them a billion times and I've ran out. So I don't have a ton right now, but I normally actually that's a lie. I still have a ton. I'm lying. It's just because my idea of having a ton is like 30 products. My favorite is their Virgin Marula Luxury Oil, facial oil. Um, it has a dropper and it's just this really nice oil on your skin. It makes your skin look and feel incredible. Like it is probably one of my favorite face products I've ever used in my life. But um, Drug Elephant is a little bit pricier. I would really recommend getting their minis. I have a few of their minis because they were so nice and they sent me stuff for traveling this summer. So I still have a lot of their mini sets, but it has like six products on there and they're amazing and you can see what you like. I know a lot of people love their night serum. That's the one that I'm not obsessed with, honestly. I don't know, I just like, I don't know. I just love their version Marula Luxury Facial Oil. That is the name. It is the best thing ever. You guys won't be disappointed if you try it out, but I would recommend getting the minis because you guys can try out like all the products basically. Okay, the next thing I have, okay, vitamin C serums as a whole. Well, first off, just really serums. I got super, super into them this year. Um, the one that I love the most, is it Summer Fridays or is it Sunday Riley? I always get so confused between the two. Or is it Sunday Riley? It'll be on the screen. Um, their serum is amazing. It's so expensive. I'm aware of that, but you put it on your face and like your face is so bright and like healthy looking. It's incredible. The other one that I love is the Ula, I don't know, Ula Henderson um, Truth Serum. This is a classic. This is an OG. This is, these two are tied to me. I love them both. This, the Truth Serum smells amazing. It has this like orange citrus scent. So it really wakes you up in the morning and you just feel incredible. And I love it. It's so good. So with these serums, I've been using my Nurse Jamie Uplift Roller. This thing is amazing because it really depuffs your face. My face started getting puffy in the past like 15 months when I would like wake up or travel or whatever. So annoying. So I got this tool and it has saved my life. It really does make your skin just look a lot more firm. And it helps so much like getting the serums really into your face. I really like using it right after I apply my serums because I feel like they're way more like absorbed into my skin. It also just depuffs your face. It makes you look 20 times better. And then also we have the Mario Badescu spray. I have used them all. I think they've probably been in like every single one of my vlogs. I have the purple one, the green one, the red one. I have one in pretty much every purse, every backpack, everything that I own, my car, everywhere that I go I have one. This spray just like really refreshes me throughout the day and I just love it. Like. It's amazing. I feel like it does good things for my skin. I know a lot of people have like their own opinions on it, but like it's just the process of it for me, honestly. Like it calms me down, it relaxes me, it makes me like feel like my, my makeup is kind of getting a nice little refresh throughout the day. 
I just have loved it. Last thing I have is my Loving Tan Self Tanner. My favorite self tanner in the world. It is so freaking good, guys. Like, I, I just love this stuff. And they come with... Their mitt is amazing. They have, they just have so many things that are so good, and they're just an amazing self tanner. So moving on to makeup, I have my top three holy grail products. You guys will not be surprised at all when I talk about any of these, but my In Cosmetics CC Cream is my favorite. I feel like this is my favorite last year too. I don't think any face product will ever top this for me. It is the best CC cream. It is so light. It makes your skin just like literally it's your skin but better. Like it looks so freaking good. I'm a huge fan of their cosmetics. I like everything that they do. Like, I like every single product that they have. I'm a huge, huge fan. So, I really loved using that. I apply that with the Beauty Blender. Fun fact, I like the Real Techniques. What? Techniques? I like the Real Techniques Beauty Blender better than the normal Beauty Blender, and that one's like $7, and the Beauty Blender is like $20. The next thing is my Hourglass Powder. These, especially together, the It Cosmetics CC Cream and the Hourglass Powder, make your skin look so alive. Like, it looks so incredible. I got that from Molly because she was using it like a year and a half ago, and I'm still on it. I have the palette, I've had the singles, I'm like pretty much out of my palette, I need another one. But it just gives your skin such a healthy glow, and I just love it. Like, it's one of those products that you wouldn't necessarily like think that you need, but then once you use it, you need it, and you'll never go without it, I promise you. I've been using it for the past year and a half, and I will never go without it. Then my last thing that I have is my Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. This is the best lip product I've ever used. I am super into moisturizing basically my whole entire body, but, um, so that's why I love, like, serums and moisturizers and all that. So I also love, like, lip balms and stuff, right? This is the best one I've ever used. I have repurchased this, I'm not exaggerating, probably, like, 15 times. Like, I've bought so many of them. I use it as just like an everyday lip balm. I know that like it's a face mask or it's a lip mask, but like I use it every day. I'm wearing it right now. It makes your lips, first off, they look really good. They, it smells really great and it just gives you like such great moisture. Like it's the best product ever. I said about everything in here, but they're all really good, okay? For my hair, I don't use a ton of hair products um, at all, but the one product that I swear by that I think is the best thing ever and I noticed a very very big difference in my skin when I use this or not on my skin in my hair when I use this versus when I don't see it's tin leave-in plus keratin conditioner it is so good it does like 10 things for your hair I just spray it in my hair and then I brush it out with a rough brush and my skin I keep saying skin my hair feels so healthy and looks so healthy and it's shiny and just beautiful after so, been loving that. Then for hair tools, my two favorites, I have this Conair curling iron that I've been using for forever. That's $20 and it has really, really big curls. Um, how I do my hair today, ignore it. This is not normal. We're just gonna ignore this. But um, that gives you really big, loose, voluminous waves. And then when I was in Chicago this year, my sister did my hair. She used the dry bar three-day bender on me. And I loved it because it was very like beachy waves like in my channel intro when I'm like turning at the very beginning I think that's what that was. Um, it's very beachy like bigger tighter curls But I don't know that's how I, what I normally curl my hair like now, but the dry bar three-day bender has been amazing I love that product, but if you guys don't want to spend that much money on a curling iron or whatever get the Conair one They are different curls though like the Conair one is big curls the dry bar one is like, it's like, they're like tighter, bigger curls. Conair is like looser, dry bar is tighter. I, for music, I just posted a drive with me of my top played songs from 2018. So if you guys want to check it out, I will have that link down below. Definitely check out the video. And if you guys are checking it out from this video, let me know that it came from this video. Okay, and then random. I have two random. The first one is going to come as no shock to any of you. Oat milk. I love oat milk. 2018 really was the year of oat milk for me, and I'm only hoping that 2019 is as well. Like, wow. It is just so good. Like, it's so much better. I've never really liked almond milk, and I love oat milk. It has changed my life. It's so freaking good. My two go-to order, it's an iced dirty chai with oat milk or a cold brew with oat milk. If I make coffee from home, I just drink it black, um, and I can do a cold brew with coconut milk if I'm at Starbucks, that's fine. But typically, if I'm at like Alfred, that's what I get. The last thing I have is a candle. It is the Anthropology Volcano candle. Literally, Joe just was like walking by and he's like, it smells like anthropology in here because I have the volcano candle burning. That's the candle that they burn in the store, but it smells so amazing and it's so pretty. Normally, um, they have like the ones that look very anthropology-esque, 
but lately I've been getting ones that are like blue. I've just been trying out different things. I like all of the designs and all of the looks for the Volcano Candle. It's amazing. I know that if you go to Target and you get Island Moonlight, it's pretty much the same scent and it's like way cheaper. Fun fact, but I just ordered a bunch and I'm obsessed. Even last night, like I was cleaning out my office and I found like Volcano Candles that I had never opened that I like, del like had delivered to my house. That's how obsessed I am. Okay. So that is it for my 2018 favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what was your favorite from 2018. I cannot speak. I haven't filmed a normal sit down video in so long because so many of them have been vlogs. But also let me know what your biggest goal of 2018 is. Again, if you guys want to hear what I learned in 2018, how many times can I say that year? Um, I will have that podcast episode linked down below. I think you guys would really enjoy it. But yeah, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys soon. Bye.